Hi guys, Luke here from BES Electrical Solutions. Today we're going to show you how to verify whether your FANCOM SF7 temperature probe is reading correctly in the field. As electricians we often see that uh, your climate computer might be reading questionable temperatures, either too high or too low, and often we will have to determine whether there's an issue with your terminations, your cable, or your sensor. So we use a process of elimination here, and one of the first things that we will check is whether or not your sensor is reading the correct temperature at a local level. So what we will do is disconnect the temperature sensor from the cabling inside your poultry house. So you can see here that we have a number of different tools that we use to verify whether or not your sensor is reading correctly. So on my right here we have a digital multimeter and it's set to the ohms scale. In the middle we have a temperature and resistance chart for the FANCOM SF7 temperature sensor. And on the left here, we have the digital thermometer. Now you will see, I've actually disconnected the temperature sensor from the field. And that's the back of the sensor there. You can see the other part. And I've placed the sensor in water. Now the reason we use water is to have a stable medium with which to measure our temperature. You can also see that the thermometer has been immersed in the same water as the temperature sensor. Now that I've done that and left the thermometer and the temperature sensor in that stable medium for approximately five minutes. I will come across and grab my two prongs from my multimeter, ensuring that we're set on the ohm scale. And I'm going to measure the terminals on the temperature sensor. Okay, one prong on each terminal. Now we can see that we are reading 9.46 K ohms, 9,460 ohms to be exact. And if we scroll across to our temperature chart, 9.46 K ohms will equal roughly 26 degrees. Now, scrolling across, our digital thermometer, you can see that we are reading close enough to 26 degrees. Now let's double take on that. We're going to measure our measure our ohms on our sensor first. 9.45 K ohms. Go across to our chart. See where 9.45 K ohms should sit. And then we verify that by moving across to our digital temperature thermometer. And those readings should correspond with the chart that you've been given. Now, if you need to get the chart, give us a call. We're more than happy to help you. Get in touch at info at Hope you've enjoyed the video today. All the best. Thank you.